that you can use if you ever encounter those Zionist freaks, whether they be Iranian or whatever, all right? <laughs> now, I don't drink margaritas, but we all know what a margarita is. We all know what a bar is. So you're going to say, Marg Bar. Marg Bar. Marg Bar Israel. 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 Thank you. What does that mean? Oh, so it has, uh, it has two meanings depending on the <laughs> talk about American propaganda? Because there was a rally in Dearborn, Michigan, to a large Muslim population. Uh, chant of death to America. I feel like we've, we've passed something here. You know, I mean, the left has gotten mad at me for many years for talking about Islam. I try not to do it too much because I know it makes them go crazy and I've made my point. But it needs to be talked about now. When you start chanting death to America in America, I mean, I got it. Lawmakers from Michigan are taking a stand against the disturbing chants of death to America and death to Israel that have surfaced out of a protest during recent anti-Israel rallies in Dearborn, Michigan. In a letter written to Attorney General Merrick Garland, they said, though purportedly held to express support for the Palestinian cause, these events were instead platforms for inciting terrorism and violence. Repeatedly, we have witnessed in the past several months the harassment and physical assault directed at innocent Americans during our immediately following these events. Governor Whitman of Michigan herself took over a week to condemn the chance at the protest, while the Biden administration immediately condemned them. Condemned learned the lessons of the 1930s. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was faced with a Nazi effort inside the United States. They lock people up. If I believe, frankly, we should say, if you are for the victory of Iran, if you want to scream uh, <clears throat> death to America, we're deporting you. If you're an American, we're going to try you for treason. You can't get up and say death to America as an American citizen. We if you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. And that's what I say all the time. That's what I said in a tweet, which I guess some people think is controversial. A lot of people love it, by the way. A lot of people love it. But if you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. 